Hey y'all, welcome back to my page. My name, for those who don't know me, my name is Alexis. I am the owner of The Wig Fit. And for today's video, I will be giving you five tips for maintaining your unit. All right guys, getting right into it. The wig that we will be focusing on today with our five tips is going to be the Alexis unit. This particular unit is very low maintenance. It's also versatile. It's already framed to the face and pre-cut. So if you were to go from a sleek straight look to a full body of curls, you would do so effortlessly. This is also a custom glueless unit. So it does come to your size, circumference of your head, so you don't have to really worry about it slipping off or feeling too baggy or too small when it arrives. And we're just gonna go ahead and slide into tip number one. We're gonna start off by washing our unit. You cannot recreate this look with dirty hair. If you already have some oil that has built up some dirt and debris from the outside world, just doing your own thing, you wanna go ahead and wash all that nastiness out. I will be using Hask Coconut Oil Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner, and I will be leaving my conditioner on for about 15 minutes after lathering it all in before washing it out. So, see you guys back in just a sec. We'll get her all washed up. All right, so our unit is clean. We got all of those nasties out of it, all that dirt, debris, oil buildup. What we're going to do next is segue into step number two. We're going to end up molding our unit down. I will be using the Nairobi Rapid Shine Foaming Lotion. So next, I want you to just go ahead and part your unit where you would like it to lay, preferably how it was when it arrived since the framing has already been done for this particular unit. Let's go ahead and part your unit and we're gonna throw on our foam wrapping lotion. All right, take a look at my unit. Nice and molded. Now, if you have a wrapping paper, you can go ahead and wrap that around. If not, it's fine. You can go ahead and set her under the dryer. I am going to put one around my mannequin's head and I'm gonna set her under the dryer. And we're gonna let her dry before we proceed to step number, actually that is step number three. Mold it and dry it. So now grab your dryers, put your unit under the dryer. I'll see you guys back in a sec. Step four, your unit is dry, your unit is molded. Now, oh, 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 oh shit. All right, let's start this over. <laughs> your unit is dry. Your mannequin's lashes have fell off. And now <laughs> it's time to move on to step four. It's time to flat iron the unit. Now I am going to shut section the hair off. I normally do about one, two, three, four, about five sections. And I start from the back. Before I flat iron each section, I do put a little bit of bio silk 
as I am flat ironing. So if you have it, grab it. If you don't, head to your nearest beauty supply store and grab it. I promise you it is a lifesaver. It makes the biggest of difference. We're gonna get started. Let's go ahead and flat iron, y'all. All right, guys, so our unit is nice and flat iron. She's nice and flat. As you can see from the top of the head, this is all from molding. I haven't even ran a hot comb through my mannequin's head or anything. This is all from me molding the hair first. Gets it nice and flat. Takes a lot of the elbow grease out of what you have to do in maintaining your unit. And it's also why it is a low maintenance unit not much to do i mean look at it all i've done is flat iron i haven't even put any curlers to the framing of the face or anything however that is step five step five is to style your unit now i do want to add just a few more just want to bump it in the front just a little just a little so you can really see like that Aaliyah type look which is what I was going for when I made the unit oh she got fresh lashes y'all let's give it a little bump it's just a little bump bump do a little on this side All right, guys, so you can already see that our unit is really starting to take shape back into its original form. And all we've used today was some bio silk, some foam, shampoo and conditioner, and blow dry, and flat iron. And look at that, look at that, look at that. She's beautiful. The last thing that I'm going to do to this unit going to be at the edges now if you're a baby hair fan go ahead add your baby hairs for me eh, I'm iffy iffy only because I'm still kind of learning how to do baby hairs like them other girls do look at that edge though like if you just wanted to put this on by the by the way this is also this is HD lace that I use for all my units. But you don't have to do much. What I do want to do is put a little, we'll put a little heat right here just to give it a bit of indention. A little indention at the top.
guys, that is it. That's it. You've completed all five steps slash, I think I called them tips at the beginning of the video. And your unit is good to go. And she's beautiful. Look at her. Again, thank you guys for watching my video. I hope these tips are helpful for you. I'm gonna to try to upload maybe every other Sunday. So please turn on your notifications, subscribe to my channel, and comment below if you want me to actually show you how to put the wig on your head. Rather you wanna be glueless or if you want to put a little bonding to hold it down, comment video part two down below in the comment section. Oh, and surprise, if you're watching this video and it's still in the month of July, please text, um, give me a word y'all, Sugar Plum, there we go. Text Sugar Plum to the number below. I'm also gonna put these details in my comment box. Um, and you will receive $40 off of your next wig purchase. All my wigs can be purchased on my website, thewigbin.com. All the information you're going to need as far as the products I use throughout the day are also going to be tagged down below. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And thanks, guys. Bye.